Welcome back to the Rock Academy. In this video, I'm gonna cover defining your projection and reprojecting your LiDAR data. Let's get into it. So in the last video, we created a new project and uploaded LiDAR data to that. Now it's time to define the projection that LiDAR data sets in, and then also to reproject it into the final destination that we want it to go to. So projections is a complicated topic. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but typically for most manufacturers of LiDAR hardware, Whenever you create an LAS, it's going to be in a UTM projection using the WGS84 datum. So that's again, that's gonna be the WGS84 datum. This is against the reference ellipsoid, WGS84, and it's going to be in a projection using UTM. So in order to define your projection of the uploaded data set, and again, this is common from almost every LiDAR manufacturer, whether it's us, Rock Robotic, or it's Phoenix LiDAR, or Green Valley, LiDAR USA, Swiss LiDAR, Yellow Scan, almost all of them do this. And it's because this is a projection that works around the entire globe. Now, when you get here into like where I'm at in the United States, I'm in California, there's six local projections for state planes alone in this state. There's a lot of local projections. And that's what we're gonna talk about reprojecting your data. But to get all our bases covered for the whole world, we all use WGS84 because that covers the whole world and UTM because that covers the whole world as well. So right now I'm going to say upload projections. This is the projections of the uploaded data set. In this case, this liner data was captured down near San Diego. And I know that that is in a WGS84 UTM zone 11 north and there you go that's the projection it's in and the other thing it's an ellipsoidal height so i'm just going to type in ellipsoid so for the wgs84 reference ellipsoid this ellipsoid is the reference ellipsoid for wgs84 i'm going to save that now so now i've defined the projection of the lidar data that i just uploaded the next step is to reproject that into the final destination that we want it to go to. To do that, I'm going to click reproject data. So I know I want that to be in a California zone six. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in California zone six. And right here we see have a bunch of different options. There's NAT 83, California zone six, US survey feet. I know that I am in NAT 83, the realization of 2011 California Zone 6 US survey feet. So I'm gonna use this one 6426. And then since I'm in North America and here in the United States, we use the North American vertical datum of 1988. I'm going to type in NAVD 88. And for this case, it is using the US survey feet. So this is gonna be the NAVD 88 height 6360 is the EPSG code. So now here's a few different things to note about the reprojections. All of these projections come from epsg.io, and these are the EPSG codes. So 6426 and 6360, that's called an EPSG code. It references this SRS, or this, this coordinate, uh, coordinate <laughs> reference system. So now I've defined our initial projection, which was the WGS84 UTM zone 11 north, and the ellipsoidal height, because it's ellipsoidal height. Now I'm going to reproject it into the California state plane, using the NAD83 realization 2011 datum and using the North American vertical datum of 88. So now I can go ahead and click save. And my data is now going to be reprojected. So I hope that helps you guys out understand the projections, just knowing that it's different when you upload it, you upload it in a certain projection and then you reproject that. So the uploaded projections when you first uploaded and reprojecting it, that's whenever you go to reprojecting and select where you want to go to. So I hope that helped you guys clear up some confusion. And in the next video, we're gonna cover uploading ground control points. So I'll see you guys next one.